welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. From today's video, we are going to focus on Android's notification API. Like how to create and display a notification, whether it's a simple text based notification or image text notification or even a custom notification. And since Android 8 or API level 26, notification channel was introduced. We'll also learn how we should create multiple channels so that we can manage them from the app settings. Actually, this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on notification API. So if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you found this video helped you a little bit, hit that big thumbs up button that encourages me to make more content. With that said, let's get started. Now whenever it comes to creating and displaying a notification in Android or in above API level 26, we must follow these three steps. First, we need to create a notification channel. In step 2, we will create a notification and finally we will display it in the notification tray. Simple. Let's begin by creating a notification channel. And for that, I would like to create a separate Java class so that our code will be well organized. Let's name it notification helper. Here we will write all our notification code. Anyway, let's create a method first that will help us to create notification channels. Public, static, void, create channel. Now in this method, we'll be using notification manager and notification channel class. And since Android 8 notification channel was introduced, first we will check if build dot person dot sdk int greater than equal to build dot person codes dot o means android audio or android 8 now simply type notification manager notification manager equal to now we need a context variable so so that we can use it to call get system service method now take this context variable then dot get system service here simply type context dot notification service Now we will also check if notification manager not equal to null and notification manager dot get notification channel here we need to pass a channel id although we haven't created any so let's create a channel id public static final string Mm, let's call it sports channel id then equal to sports underscore channel now simply pass this variable over here Now equal to null. So first we are checking for the nullability. If the notification manager is not null, that means before creating any notification channel, notification manager must be initialized and the channel should not be created. Then only we will create a new channel. That's it. Now simply type notification channel. Let's call it channel equal to new notification channel here we need to pass three things first is channel id then channel name and a priority so let's pass this sports channel id now pass a channel name 
let's say sports channel then set a priority notification manager dot here you can see some importance level importance default low high high priority notification should only be used for critical events such as emergency alert or important messages but if we set notification default or low this means that the notification is a normal priority notification that does not require immediate actions anyway for now i am passing this importance default we can even do some customization for each notification channel like you can change the color of the device's notification light if it supports RGB. Also we can set different sound description. So simply type channel dot set description. You can write down some text for this particular channel. Then channel dot enable lights you can pass true or false also we can do something like channel dot set light color and here simply pass color dot and any color you would like for now i'm passing red you can even enable vibration so simply type channel dot enable vibration and pass true Finally, let's register the channel with the Android system. Notification manager dot create notification channel and pass this channel. And that's it. Now, where do we call this method? Well, as soon as our app starts, we can call this create channel method. Typically inside the on create of the application class or inside the on create of your app's launcher activity. Here this main activity is our launcher activity. So inside its on create method we can call notification helper dot create channel and pass this as a context and our notification channel is ready. Perfect. Now we will create a notification and send it to our sports channel so that it should appear in the notification tray. Anyway, let's go back to our notification helper class. Here we are going to create another method that will help us to display a notification. So public static void, let's call it send notification. Here I am taking context as a parameter. Now we will create a notification builder object. So notification compat dot builder builder equal to new notification compat dot builder a tab here we will pass this context and a channel ID in this case sports channel ID now dot here we can use these set methods to configure the notification mm, let's call mm, set content title then set a title so for this we are going to add a string type data let's say title then simply pass here now let's call um, set content text here we can pass the main content or message so again I'm going to add another string type data in this parameter let's say message and pass here 
let's also set an icon of the notification mm, set small icon usually here we set our app icon but you can of course set your own custom icon by referring the drawable path so for now i'm passing the default app icon r dot mipmap dot ic launcher also we can set a priority set priority notification compact dot mm, let's use priority default finally add semicolon in the end now we will create a notification manager compact object notification manager compact equal to notification manager compact dot from and pass context now simply call notification manager compact dot notify here we will pass an integer let's say 1455 and pass this builder object builder dot build and that's all we need to do for displaying a simple text based notification so where do we call this method well in general if you are using one signal sdk or firebase fcm you should be calling this from the remote notification received method or from on message received method but for now we will be calling this from our main activities on create method and this is for testing purpose only guys so just after this line call notification helper dot send notification then pass this as a context then set a title mm. then a message Okay, now if we build and run this code, our notification should pop up immediately as soon as our app starts. Let's see. Yes, guys, see here is our notification. Awesome. Here we can do few more things like if you have a long content then all your content might not be fit in this small area so what you can do is you can set a big text style so that it can be expandable but remember it can hold around uh, 800 characters i think so anyway dot set a style new notification compact dot big text style dot big text then pass your content or message here also let's add a long content Now let's build and run our code again. Let's tap on this little arrow icon. See, it is expandable now. Perfect. Now I would like to talk about a common issue and a solution for that like here we are passing a static int right and this would cause a little issue in terms of displaying multiple notifications till now whatever code we have each and every notification should be shown perfectly but also our old notification will be overridden and as a result you can see only one notification at a time only the recent one 
although it is great only when we need to update a single notification. However, as a solution, first you can generate a random unique integer and then pass here or just do what I'm doing. So system dot current time millis then alt enter and cast to int. So this will generate an unique number always and that's it. Now if you want to display your notifications silently then simply call set silent with the builder object just like this dot set silent and pass true. I think we have spent enough time today so in the next video we will talk about how to display image text notifications. Also we will discuss how to create multiple notification channels so that we can manage them accordingly. Moreover. If you have any questions or suggestions then just drop them in the comment section and if you found this video helpful hit the like button share with your friends and also do subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming content thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one